All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Right about now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install a screen protector on my Tesla, the main screen in the Tesla. And what I did was I got this one screen protector from Spigen. There it is. And it is the matte finish screen protector. Now, I'm not used to matte finish screen protectors. I've never purchased matte finish screen protectors. Even on my phone, I've gotten the crystal clear one. I just like the clarity and all of that. But I've noticed on this screen uh, that there's a lot of um, glare on the screen. So, uh, so I said, okay, let me go ahead and pull the trigger on a matte screen protector and see if that works better. So we're going to find out in this uh, trip. I'm about to take a trip here. So uh, let's go ahead and install that. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go hit that hit that car icon and then go up to display and then clean uh, screen clean mode. So go ahead and click that. And I didn't take my original screen protector off uh, from the factory, which is a good thing, I guess. I mean, I'm, hopefully I might have to do a lot less cleaning, but just look at all the pollen we've been getting here in Atlanta. It's just ridiculous. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this and let's quickly see what's in there and then let's go ahead and install it all right seems quite simple you've got the main uh screen protector here which has a uh like a frame that acts as a guide so make sure it's on there perfect and then you've got a toolkit so in the toolkit is probably going to be your uh wet wipe cleaning supply you know little uh, alcohol wipe is what i meant and uh dry um a dry cloth and then uh, a squeegee so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and uh, unpack this and then let's get to uh, installing the uh, protector all right i've got my uh, wipe uh, sticker for the dust removal and all of the the squeegee lined up so let's go ahead oh for this you have to make sure keep your vents off your hvac system turned off so there's no air circulating and there's less dust in the air uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and peel this off All right, screen looks pretty good so far, but I'm still gonna go ahead and wipe this, the screen. Now this didn't seem very wet, so it actually probably put a lot more, and this right here has more dust spots on it than, than, than there should have been. So it looks like I, I didn't need to do that step because my screen was pretty clean to begin with, dust free. So this thing's actually adding more dust. Isn't that weird? Let's go ahead and take this dust sticker and see how many of these we can we can get off, off the screen. Hopefully, the good part is that you can see pretty clearly how many dust spots they are. There's just everywhere in the air. You take one out and then another one falls in its place. Oh, here we go. Okay. And then it says press and slide, as you can see. I'm pretty sure you can't see, but I can see all these lines going on each side. It says wait 30 seconds, so let's go ahead and wait 30 seconds. Okay, I think we've got it down to 30 seconds. And then it says go ahead and remove. Pretty simple, very simple um, instructions. Just gonna hold this down while removing it. Oh, that was not nice. That glue is stuck over there. All right. 
And then I guess we're just taking this whole screen off. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That glue is stuck on the uh, on the top part, so we still have to take in a whole other layer off. So I'm gonna go ahead and push these push these up and out of the way. It's a big bubble here, and wow, I thought that would be an issue, but no, that was pretty quick. There's a big bubble right here, which is not. Come on. There we go, I found the exit. One more. No. Maybe go sideways. No. Go down. Yeah, it looks like I have to press down with a little bit of effort. Which is fine because you still have a, a plastic layer up here. So you don't have to worry about putting a mark. That like I was about this glue, you don't have to worry about putting a mark because I forgot I didn't realize there was a uh, another film up here that needs to be taken off. So, not an issue. Just make sure all the bubbles are good and out. And then we will be ready to go ahead and let's go ahead and pull this pull this off. Right. Oh my god, how I don't know how often I can say this, but perfect installation. Uh minus this dust spot down here, but still not bad. That's gonna bother me though. That's gonna bother me. Let's see if we can raise it and pull that dust spot out. It's just one little dust spot, that's it. Know how it is that would bother the heck out of me all right let's see if I can get it yeah, it's definitely underneath it so I'm trying to pull on this slowly so I don't scratch it did I get it there's another one ridiculous I, I guess they won't stop once you start trying to take them off they won't stop okay that's it I'm leaving it alone yes looks good hold for three seconds exit oh yeah look at that Look at that. It is it is uh, matte. It's a little less sharp, but I feel it's pretty decent. Now, I'm not sure how... I mean, that's the ultimate test. Is Let's see how Netflix would look or YouTube or whatever. So let's see. Yeah, that looks good. I definitely dig it. Uh, it's a lot less glare. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see a little bit here, but... Man, compared to what it was before, it, this is like 1%, or not 1%, but like 5% five, 5 or under the glare. So, so yeah, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. I like it. I mean, I was a, a little afraid that the clarity would be really horrible, but man, let me tell you, uh, it is actually quite, quite nice. I like it. It's not as... It's, it's actually not bad at all. I thought it would be worse. The clarity would be horrible, but nope. It's pretty good. And we'll test it again at night when I'm on the trip. I'll bring an update. But um, but yeah, so far so good. Now the only thing is... Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's like, how do you exit out of here? It looks awesome. That's pretty much it, guys. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, definitely recommend it. Uh, it's not cheap. It's about... 35 to 40 dollars on amazon and i'll throw the link in the description and there's so many uh brands out there so you know there's you can get whatever you like uh but a lot of good reviews on the spigen a lot of videos out there you can see as well so i thought i'd bring you my experience of it and so far excellent i mean let me just show you the 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 it's it's lined up perfectly as you can see no issues about you know 
with that with that guide you get it lines up just fine so that's pretty much it guys i do appreciate it uh if you like the video please do hit that like button hit that subscribe button if there's anything else you want to know about this tesla my 22 performance model 3 let me know in the comments below and uh yeah until next time ride safe